Hello and welcome back to Bings' Guide to the Beast Tribes. We are over here in Southern Thanalan with the Amalja. And if you're looking to teleport here, Little Alamigo is going to be your closest teleportation point. A special note with these quests, you actually do not have to have flying in order to do these ones. I completed the bulk of these before I even completed ARR. The area that you're going is down in here and a little bit over here. It is very easy to navigate on foot and the dudes are not as crammed in there as they could be. Admittedly, back here can get a little busy with the fates popping, but still quite doable. So today we are featuring Yidov, and yes, that is how you say his name. I have run into someone, at least that's how I'm saying it and how I think it's said. I ran into someone in real life who had this name when I was back, back when I was a RAF guide, so that was a long ass time ago at this point now. But he had one V at the end instead of two. He said a Yidov, so I am saying Zidov. And this one is nothing sacred. In interest of saving time, I am not reading the dialogue. However, I do recommend that you read the dialogue. And this one, we are going back in here. I did actually have to take this quest and then abandon it a couple of times to double check myself, but um, these do not move. So the areas within the spots, however, do migrate slightly. Someone's doing the fate. So. This is a key items quest, but happily this is not one of those ones that duplicates. So, find your little star spots. You're going to use your stolen items on the little star spots. On those sparky spots. And that's it. You're creating monuments. Now, I personally, since there's going to be multiple ones in each spot, I have found that one was out there. I have found one in here as well. And there's going to be a third one up here. So each spot has the potential for three different spots. So this one has that one there. It can be down in here and it can be one over there. If you're of level, kind of keep in mind that everything in here and everything in this area in general culturally is going to aggro in pairs, traditionally. Occasionally you'll find one that only does it single, but normally they aggro in pairs. Alright, we're gonna jump back on our chocobo here. Just so we can cruise along a little faster. Here are the spots in this one. I have also had... Actually, this one has four now, come to think of it. So, four, five. Excuse me. Okay, so the other one only has three. This one has five potential spots. So, these two and that one over there. I've also had one here, and I've also had one back there. Voila. Oh, and these, these ones, this is not a tower that aggro, so it'd only be those two that would aggro together like the only tower in here that doesn't fucking aggro. <laughs> you just right click the spot, brings up your key items automatically, right click to use the item, and voila. So, with the last one, you are going to have this dude pop. He's a level 49, so he's a little bit on the higher end, especially if you're running these up level. So just kind of be prepared for him. I do recommend before placing the final one, clear out the trash, give yourself space to work. On the bonus side, no fates will pop in here. The fate will either be over there or it'll be over there. So there's that. And I have absolutely no interesting stories to tell you on the way back, but here we are. Oh, if you are flying, you can't fly over the canyon walls. Sorry. You do have to follow it all the way out. Oh, my shoulder is so angry right now. I have no idea why my shoulder is angry, but my shoulder is angry. Go arthritis, right? All right, so again, this was nothing sacred with Yidov. Ooh, that was quite the mount. 
but nothing sacred, Yidov.